I'm gonna start calling it the eye doctor. It's not the eye doctor. Because I could have done any of that. <laughs> My eye doctor, since I was a kid, he's kept my prescription a secret. I don't know what the numbers are in the boxes. <laughs> and that's because he knows his job is easy as hell. <laughs> and if he told me, he'd have nothing to do and hook broke my head anymore. <laughs> and the eye doctor's cut and dry. They know why you're there. You've been before because you need glasses. <laughs> you're back because your eyes got worse and you need new glasses. <laughs> They tell you, you, you tell them it's on the phone. They ask, oh, why would you like to come in for an appointment? My eyes got worse and I need new glasses. <laughs> and when you arrive, the eye doctor is like, oh, what brings you in? <laughs> Thank you so much for asking again. <laughs> and also using context clues. <laughs> and when you sit down in the chair, and he goes, okay, take off your glasses, and they put up the letters, no matter what, they start with the smallest ones. <laughs> Why are you testing if my eyes got better? <laughs> I told you, I told you what happened on the phone. <laughs> and he plays it dumb, because I've been to the eye doctor before. He knows where I could read the letters last time, <laughs> but we still do every single font segment. Can you read this? Can you read this? No. <laughs> But when I finally say, oh, okay, that's the letter F, he's like, oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> Your eyes got worse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fuck. <laughs> and then they bring over, you know, the glasses machine. How does that look? And I tell him, okay, that's still blurry. And he's like, well, that's your current prescription. No numbers disclosed. <laughs> I think you need new glasses. Doctor, you're unbelievable. <laughs> and then he always flips through a few more. He's like, okay. Oh, and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I can see that really well. And he's like, let's just check the other ones on the side just to make sure, which is really nice to struggle with decisiveness. <laughs> and unfortunately for his job security, I'm always right the first time. Though. So, so disappointment, two things happen. He found out the thing that I told him was gonna happen on the phone. And then I picked out my own new prescription. <laughs> I don't understand why I can't be trusted to do this myself. I understand in other medical scenarios, you can't always trust the patient, right? Sometimes there's an ulterior motive, and we learned at a very young age, you can lie to get what you want, whenever you want to do that, right? Like, we've all been eight years old, and you go on a family computer, and you have Googled sorting hat quiz. <laughs> the first question is, are you brave, <laughs> smart, nice, or cunning? <laughs> you're eight, and you are so afraid of dark. And you know that you're nice, but you have to be a Gryffindor, and you're going to lie. <laughs> Fast forward to today, when you're at the dentist, have you been flossing? Yes, of course, my gums are bleeding for a different reason. <laughs> The physical therapist is one of my favorite places to lie because if you're really specific about your type of muscular back pain, suddenly going to the spa and getting massage covered by insurance. <laughs> if you go to the psychiatrist, they really want to know if you're lying because Adderall is a fantastic side hustle. <laughs> it's also unfortunately legal to sell it. If you go to the pediatrician, <laughs> your parents are there, and so when they ask, are you sexually active, you say no. <laughs> A regular doctor, when they ask, are you sexually active, you say, yes, of course I am. <laughs> At the eye doctor, that's not a problem. I'm coming in here so it's easier to read. That's not really even that fun to do. So I don't understand why I can't do this myself. There's only one thing that do you well, the eye doctor, that they, can, they every time I go, they take a picture of the inside of my eye, which is crazy because Eyes are what the two pictures for me. <laughs> so, and they look at the inside of your eye and they look for cancer back there. It, it's very uncomfortable to look at the inside of your eye. You're not supposed to see the eye. <laughs> but while he does this, he's always telling me, like, oh man, if you got eye cancer, you'd have to get the nastiest surgeries of all time. It'd be horrible. <laughs> and the horror stories, they work. Oh my goodness, they're disgusting, you guys. Because, and, and they work because I would never. I mean, seriously, I've never touched a cigarette 
to my eyeball. 